Hello I'm Dave welcome to my technical notes channel. In this video I'll show you how the use of timer interrupts can aid the operation of your program. Here is the interrupt running and what it's doing is switching an LED on and off but it's independent of the main program. Very simple test setup an LED between pin D1 and ground. Here's the timer interrupt code define some pins for the LED, set up the interrupts and uh, the count of 80 million is because that's 80 megahertz clock rate so it's one cycle of the CPU so if you want one second interrupts it's 80 million is the timer value. Note that in the main loop there's a very long delay so regardless of that long delay the LED keeps flashing as the timer interrupt is triggered every second, toggles the state of the LED pin, resets the interrupt and waits for the next second timeout. So it's a very powerful way of doing two tasks at once. A flashing an LED was a fairly trivial task but here's this anemometer that's got on off contacts, on off switch operated by a magnet and a reed read switch and every time it makes contact it triggers an interrupt and measures time and then the, the next trigger point measures time again and therefore can calculate rest per minute or miles per hour. I've calibrated it for miles per hour. But note how sm slow that can run at 0 0.4, 0 0.2 miles per hour. It's very very accurate means of measuring wind speed. So that's how it actually operates. When the switch actuates the time is recorded on the first rising edge and the next rising edge time is recorded again. That gets the duration of one rotation therefore you can measure uh, speed. So how long does a rotation take in one second? Take the reciprocal of that. That gives you revolutions per second and then times 60 gives you revolutions per minute. This is the code for measuring wind speed. I won't go through the details of the code but you can find it on GitHub. But as you can see it's fairly compact, quite short for what it's doing and uh, interrupts is very efficient at this sort of task. In summary then the use of timer interrupts enables the processor to regularly check the status or the uh, progress of activities. The use of interrupts greatly reduces coding overhead, significantly reduces coding overheads, size of code, and events that occur at precise regular intervals regardless of the main program. So it's independent of your main program. I hope you found this technical note interesting and useful. 